Half time and it's just a raw now, Aki's now and we've just been well, well off it. Really disappointing performances all round to be honest, I think. The first 20 minutes, it's fair to say Stran Raw were the better team, they created a few chances back to back that really sh probably should have and could have been goals. We have had, I think, two or three one-on-one -on -one chances that should have been goals that we couldn't finish. One for Lewis Smith, one for Andy Ryan, one for Steve Lawson. I'm going to hope at half time that we change it to a back four, make, make people a bit more comfortable, maybe help us going forward a little bit as well. So if you can just capitalise on one or two of those chances, it could be a much different game. Let's hope we get a much better performance in the second half and can create some more chances to start taking some of them, more importantly. Pretty poor. We set up sort of 3 4 3, allowing Shields and Lawson to do what they want because he obviously doesn't think they're going to pressurise us enough to capitalise, which they haven't really. There's been a few scares, but the three up front, it's just not really that effective. We're playing long balls up to an isolated striker that's once again too deep to have any effect. Um, so, I is we're still crying out for a striker. Um, looks like we still need to sign a few players and hopefully the Ferguson and money um, will have that effect but um, yeah if we're going to get out of this group we're going to score a few goals in the second half obviously after their defeat in Saturday which the way we are just now it's not looking very likely um, playing a league two side and yeah we're just not having the effect which we should we should be well ahead dominating the match but I don't feel we're having the effect that we should do being a championship side. Uh, hopefully we'll come out the second half. I do just think we'll win. Um, but yeah, it's just not good enough so far, but we'll see the second half. Andy Winter makes it 1-0. It's a lovely little ball uh, through the through the defence where Egan Mimno went takes his time, takes a touch, and just passes it into the back of the net. Andy Winter with the first cover! Aki's making 2-0, quick fire. Brilliant ball by Lewis Smith through the defence. Andy Winter shot save, but it rebounds to Andy Ryan who taps it home. Very comfortable now in the second half, 2-0 up. That's what you're after, come on! Matty Shields makes it three. Another brilliant ball from, uh, from Lou Smith. This time Matty Shields takes the touch, plays it back next game. I'm actually sitting next to Matthew Shields' family. They're obviously all over the moon for him. It's his first Aki's goal. Might be his first professional goal as well, don't to think of it. But it's a tidy wee finish for him as well. So Aki's staying up, that's what you're after. Come on! Matty Shields' family, two goals for him the day as well. This is first professional goal. First and second. There you go. Come on. Fantastic. Matty Shields' family, they're absolutely buzzing. Two goals to Matty Shields today for left back. Fantastic. This game has suddenly turned from shite in the first half to really good in the second. Let's hope we continue to get more. Come on. So Nard get one back as a penalty. It's a, I think it was a fair penalty to be honest, guys, taking it out of the box. But they make it 4-1. I think game is dead though by now, but... Just to finish the game off, Smithy makes it five. You won't Smith to get you won't Smith to get a goal. He's been good this second half. He's got an assist, very nearly got a second assist. He's done well today. He's done well the second half. And so they see him just tying it off, he's now getting some. Good day for Smithy. Hopefully that lifts his confidence a wee bit as well, get some work in. No, I think he needed that. Full time, um, Hamilton five, Stranraer two. Half time, I talked about um, we weren't good enough, we weren't effective. Um, we certainly came out the second half for a sort of 15 minute period and sort of quashed that. Um, I for the standard the opposition we were playing, we had to be much better than what we were in the first half. And for a period in the second half, we yeah we dominated the game and just made the game beyond reach for Stranraer. Um, there was points in the game Stranraer did. 
come into it and had a few chances. He obviously scored the two goals, two penalties, which are both stone wallers. It's a result which we should be getting. We go into our game on Saturday, which hopefully we win as well. Better opposition than Strunvar, um, so it'll be a tougher, tougher game away from home. But again, we should be winning again. Um, hopefully we see a few new players in by then because we definitely need players. A few young players obviously played today. I thought Fergus Owens, he was, um, he held held his own really well. Um, one thing I wasn't too happy about, if I'm being honest with you, was they threw that one into a position in which he's no used to. I know they've obviously smelt blood and they've wanted to score goals and maybe get him on the goal for the sort of star boy tweet or whatnot, but at least give him a chance and play him in his actual position. Um, maybe that's me being overcritical, I don't know. But at least we got the win. We're in the competition still. Um, and I, because there's good good money to be won if you get through the next round, so I'd hope we're going for it. And talk about money, hopefully they'll invest the Lewis Ferguson money in and get a striker. A more clinical striker would have finished a few of the chances which were missed today and make it an even bigger scoreline. But we've won 5 2 and won it Sunday, Saturday, sorry. So just home from the game, uh, finished Hamilton 5, Stranra 2. Um, definitely a game of two halves. Um, first half was really frustrating to watch. Um, really didn't start well at all. Um, we were actually on the back foot for the opening kind of 5-10 minutes. Stranra causing us a, a couple of problems, um, as well as ourselves causing ourselves a few problems. Second half, really, really positive. Um, great start. Um Loads of goals, loads of different scorers. Um, it was a real positive. Um, the intensity was there. Um, the desire and the actual work rate seemed a lot better. We're not going to get carried away with ourselves though. Um, it was a, a obviously a, a League Two team. No disrespect to to Stranraer at all, but it's a team that we've said for millions of times when we play these cup games, we just want a comprehensive victory against these kind of lower league teams, and it's something we've never got, and we've got that. Um, especially after, like I say, a poor first half performance. So that's that's progress for me. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Overall, um, couldn't really ask for a, a better response uh, when you look at the scoreline. So happy boy. Five goals and two for yourself. You must be happy. How was the run out? I was delighted. Um, the first half we started quite slow, the first kind of 10 minutes, and then we kind of came into the game. And a few chances, which we probably could have took, and then um, and at half time, spoke about it, and came out. Relentless, really. It comes every week, it needs to be consistent every week and all that myself. Um, obviously tonight was good but then I need to move on to Saturday. And as I say, just be more consistent. Aye. And obviously with John Rankin coming in now, how's that been? It's your first kind of uh, start of the season where you're being fit and you've got that full pre-season under your belt now. And From the outside looking in, he seems like quite a, a tough coach. He seems like he's certainly putting aye, you through your paces. It has, it has, it's been tough, the pre-season has been tough, but I think the main thing is it's been, in, um, it's been enjoyable. Um, that has been very good. Um, when we first came in, the running we were doing, it was pretty hard to go dry, but it gets you ready for the season. I think you need a good pre-season under your belt. Like the last season, I felt as if I was just kind of breaking down because I didn't have a pre-season. I was out 12 months, mm -hmm. so it was a struggle, but um, I think I'll, I'll get through this one, hopefully, to keep going. And how Rankin's got you setting up, obviously, his two wing-backs, at least for the last two games, that lets you get forward, obviously you got your two goals tonight, is that something that suits you, you like getting forward? Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy it more, I, I prefer to be higher up the pitch, um, I think it works well for the team as well, um, with the wing-backs and the three centre-backs, so um, I think it does work well for the team and I certainly enjoy it more, I, I get to go up the pitch more, so instead of throwing back the pitch, staying the ball and stuff, I get to go up there, mm. so. It was quite a frustrating first half, and then obviously, you couldn't have been. We couldn't have been more fluid at the start of the second half. What what was said at half time? What was the difference? Um, I think just really take our chances because I think we had three or four one on ones in the first half. Really good ones. Uh, we could have probably took. So um, I think we know that if we just keep going, eventually goals will come. And it happened. Uh, Andy gets his break, and then for there we just keep going. So. You obviously top goal scorer so far. Is that you? Number <laughs> nine in the back of your, your shirt next season. Eh? I can't see that staying that for long. <laughs> Doesn't Don't that chucking that? Forget it. <laughs> Absolute electric start to the second half. What led to that? What was the impact? Was it your words at half time? Uh, no, I don't think I can take any credit for the half time. I think it's all to do with the players. Uh, I think the first half was. It was disappointing in the final third. I think we had four one and ones and another another decent chance to go and get ourselves in front and disappointed we never done that. Uh, and it was just a case of being calm. Being calm, we believe in what we're doing, it'll come. But can we be more ruthless in front of goal? When you get the chance, can we go and take them? And I thought, 
the four goals in six minutes, the board opposition away, but it was the the desire and the hunger to go and get the ball back when we when we did score and Kevin got another one straight away. And listen, the, the second half performance can't be questioned. I'm, I'm absolutely livid at the two penalties. Uh, I thought it was a good, a good chance for Fulks to keep a clean sheet tonight, uh, especially the way we started the second half. But having said that. Young boys are only going to learn when, when they run out that quickly to try and stop a cross. At some point, you need to slow down with it. If you can slow down quicker and try and keep the, the boy's head down, it makes it much more difficult for him. But they're only going to learn to get an exposure in, in, in this environment and hopefully help them going forward. We've obviously said in the past that with the type of players we've got up front, like your Andy Winters and Andy Ryan, there is a gap for someone maybe with a bit more physical presence. Do you think that's really going to present a huge opportunity for Ryan O'Neill? Or is it a case of bedding them in, like easing them in yet more than I, I throwing think, them in the deep end? I, I, well, he's been in the deep end since Saturday tonight. Aye. <laughs> and, uh, listen, uh, uh, Ryan's got a bright future ahead of him. He's got all the physical attributes that he's ready just now. He's a 16 year old in a man's body, which is great. But I want to make it stronger, I want to make it fitter, I want to make it faster, and I want to give more game intelligence on him. And he's only going to do that by playing against playing with better players. Not any coaching that we can do, it's playing with players that can demand where he is and where he, where he goes and where he runs and how many touches he takes. And Andy Ryan can do that for him and dictate. It's a case of keeping his feet in the ground, making sure he comes in, making sure he's ready to train every day. And when he gets his opportunity to pull the trigger rather than doing a cry for 18 yards, he shoot. <laughs> and that's the most important thing for me. Listen, I'm hungry for him to score goals, without a doubt. Uh, but that bit needs to be, I want to score. All right, great, do skills, do whatever you need to do, put the ball in the net. And it's the same at the other end. All right, maybe give the ball, stop the ball getting put in the box, stop the ball getting in the net, stop the ball getting a shot. And if we can do those sort of things uh, that we're asking and the players are demanding of each other, then it can only mean for success. You've obviously already brought two players in, Johnny and Gandu. Michael Doyle it was the first time the fans got to see Johnny and Gandu and kind of real long spell played the 90 minutes. How did you think he did? And what's the type of player that Aki's fans can expect to see from him going forward this season? The boy can play. The boy can play. Uh, Johnny can handle, handle the ball. And that's the most important thing on a football pitch. You can handle the ball and then apply yourself off it, which he does. Uh, it's great. Uh, he's played obviously under 23 football, which is obviously no, you're not exposed to, to playing against men. So Johnny needs to learn that side of the game, and he's only going to do that here. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see the performance tonight, he's composing the ball, he gets across. Uh, we asked him to do something different in the second half, and he'd done that, and I thought he'd drag people about with him. Uh, but the composure in the ball and the forward passes, his first thought is forward. Uh, either look forward, play forward, or run forward. So that's a massive thing in his, his game. And if we can continue to develop him uh, and Doyle, you know what you're getting. You, you know what you're getting, and that was an important part of us bringing him here. Uh, the experience he has, the character he has, the demands he puts on people. He's a real leader, and we need that. But we also need another few fresh, fresh faces to keep everybody on their toes. But also, not to add quantity, but to add quality. And I'm, I'm aware of that. And uh, listen, Alan and Colin have been brilliant with me, and hopefully we can continue to build on uh, what we're trying to do. And finally. Been a lot of talk obviously this week. Lewis Ferguson's moved to uh, Bologna. There's talks that Aki's got a wee percentage cut in that. Have you spoke to the board about maybe getting a little boost in your your, your playing budget for, uh, for that at all? No, Alan said to me before I come up here, I need to see you before I go, so I hope that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, I've not I've not spoke to them yet, but as I said, we're ho hopefully getting uh, constrained from the squad. Uh, the players the players need pushed, uh, and not by me, by, by new faces that are coming in, and that, that quality gives other people a lift.